Hello. Lou and Lowe's Travels here and today we are at... Uh, we're doing Last Kildale today. And we're parked in Overhaddon Car Park. Um, £6.20 for an all-day ticket. Yeah. That's bloody daylight robbery, isn't it? It is. I mean, they've got facilities there. They've got toilets up there, so that's a bonus. Yeah. So come with us. Let's show you the lovely Last Kildale. Here's just a quick snap of the car parking charges in case anyone is interested in coming down. Right, so just a bit of history about Overhaddon as well. It was once a hive of history. Lead mining has been important in the area since the Roman times. In the 1700s, Mandale Mine Company was able to produce large quantities of lead at prices that put other companies out of business. And in 1854, visitors to Overhaddon came in search of gold. Ooh, gold. So today we're following this little handy book called Dales and Valleys. And that is the route that we'll be doing just there. So the part of the walk we're on at the minute says, in the booklet, it says that long rake workings exploited a vein of calcite. Still mined farther to the north, calcite users include path chippings and pebble dash and giving white road lines their reflectivity. Interesting. A lot over there you've got a sign saying danger, no entry, the mine is operational. Safe to say we won't be going in there. So the mound that you can see in front of us is B. Low, a late Neolithic, early Bronze Age burial mound or tumulus, and it was excavated in 1966 to 1968. Okay, so it looks like we're approaching some woodland now. There's been quite a lot of stiles and gates throughout this walk as well. So if you do bring a dog, just be mindful of that. Some of the styles were fine, all the ones were a little bit tricky. Right, so, so far, we've walked through quite a lot of fields with cows in them, haven't we? Yeah. And yeah, it's been quite, gets you on edge a bit, especially because we've got the dog with us. Um, but on some bits, we're other groups of people, luckily. Yeah. So they had dogs as well, so we sort of like joined together. Tagged along with them, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, so at the minute, the field that we're in now, it's um, there's not any cows about at the minute, so just making sure there's not any behind me. So yeah, so hopefully, We'll have a good stretch going forward. So that expanse in the distance that looks like a mini Winnets Pass Mamtor area we believe is called Kales Dale. Right, so now we've been through all the farmland, we're now about to enter Lathkill Dale. So now we've got some steep stone steps. We've got to be quite careful with Thea because she likes to pull a little bit. So as you can see, we're making our way now down these stone steps. They continue 
off down here. They are quite steep, so take great care, especially in wet weather when I imagine the stone could be quite slippy. Now that is one epic stone steps. Luckily we're nearing the bottom now. Right, so we've just stopped off for some lunch. The sun started to come out, which is really nice, give a bit of warmth. Yeah, so I think we deserve a, a rest after those stairs, like the stairs of death. I know. Just, we've just <laughs> been sitting here watching people go by and we've said, oh, if you're going up that way, just be careful because it's a steep incline. Very, yeah. So, yeah, but we did it, we managed it. So. Yeah, we managed it. Um, we're going to be heading off shortly. We're going to head towards Tougher Waterfall and then make our way back up to Overhaddon. Yeah, so come join us on the last leg of the walk. Yeah, hopefully the prettiest bit. Yeah, this is a bit that we've been waiting for, isn't it? Yeah. We want to see some waterfalls. Over Slide material. That is crazy. It goes that's all amazing. the way around. That's, that's amazing. I know. Right. So I'm currently stood where the tougher waterfall is. Um, as you can see from the riverbed. The last kill river at the minute is very dry there's hardly any water here so hence the waterfall just being a trickle but it's still very pretty but it's probably best to come here when the river's running full of water We have a man-made weir where Carter's Mill once stood. And as it states in the book that we're following, these are abandoned millstones. So the book refers to mine workings in the area and here is a grill-covered shaft. As you can see. It's quite far apart from all the debris down there. Right, so we've just gone over the bridge and this is called Bateman's House. Looks quite interesting, well not really a house, more of a ruin really. So Bateman's House originally stood over an underground pump house built to drain the workings. Right, so here we have an access shaft with some stairs the bottom there. Alright, so we have a dark, dark room in here. Oh, it's just a small area. So these stone structures here are high stone trestles that carried a wooden aqueduct to feed a water wheel at the Mandale Mine. So Lathkill Dale is one of the country's finest limestone valleys. Its steep sides enclose a world of crystal clear streams and mossy rocks, precipitous woodlands and grasslands, making it a haven for wildlife. It is one of five such valleys in the White Peak area that together make up the Derbyshire Dales National Nature Reserve. Okay, so we've finished the Lathkill Dale walk now. What did you think of that? Oh, it was really nice. It reminded me of Cheedale and Tideswell Dale. Yeah, there was little elements, wasn't there, in there yeah. of that. So that walk was, it was six miles and it was a looped walk. 
Yeah. So, yeah, so just basically back at where we began the walk. Mm. So, yeah, as I say, if you are taking dogs with you on that walk, just take care because there are quite a lot of cows in the fields, uh, in the farmer's fields. Um, but, yeah, obviously, when you get into the actual Lafkill Dale itself, it's, yeah. it's fine, isn't it? Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, it was just a shame that there wasn't any waterfalls or anything there wasn't in full flow was there no so <laughs> we was really looking forward to that but obviously we'll just have to come back another time for that yeah but yeah other than that it was a nice walk really seeing it all the rocks that you saw that was nice as well yeah there's a lot of industrial history along that route as well yeah like the um the, the mine, mine shaft and mining, things like that yeah. yeah that was that was pretty the, interesting um, the mills yeah or remnants of the mills yeah yeah it was yeah all in all a uh, good walk so we hope you've enjoyed this one and uh stay tuned for our next week in the peaks see you soon bye